Because if they do grab you, you can't use your vacuum. You have to suck them off or they're just going to do a lot. You have to shake them off, not suck them. <laughs> God damn it. Hello and welcome back to the cesspool. And more importantly, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. We are on episode three of this wonderful series. And in the last episode, what did we do? Oh yeah, we def well, we met the boss ghost, or we, the, we discovered the first boss ghosts in the game, Neville, Lydia, and their baby Shauncey. Of course, Shauncey was the uh, area boss ghost, which means that we uh, obtained the the heart key, and that's the one, yep, yep. The heart key, meaning that we can now enter this door, as we just unlocked it in the last episode, but because I had to stop playing, and the last save was before, whatever. We're unlocking it again, and now we can move on to area two. Epic cinematic, as always. This game is very well known for their uh, Resident Evil si style door opening animations. How cinematic. And here we are in Area 2, also known as the first floor. Yeah, I don't know why they made Area 1 most of the second floor. It's not even the whole thing, but part of the second floor. And Area 2 is the first floor. I don't know. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Why is your parlor on the second floor of your house? I don't get it. But we're in the hallways, and now we are introduced to uh, some other new types of ghosts, including those bats, which we just saw. And these guys, which I don't remember exactly what their name is, um, they'll appear in the hallway. And uh, only in the hallway. We got the mice as well, and the bats. Ow. Oh, damn it. Check some vases. Get a little heart. Some of the, the different colors of mice actually indicate the different uh, abilities that they have, like the the uh, purple ones can climb on walls, the, the blue ones cannot. Not that that really matters to you, but, you know, it's something. Um, so we're going to check the map, because we don't really know where we're going, do we? Oh, we're actually headed right over here. Into... the bathroom and we get the introduction of the grabber ghosts these guys will grab luigi you gotta spin them off and then they do a wonderful freaking scream and that's it only 10 health they're not really difficult unless you're in a group with them then they can be a little challenging because if they do grab you you can't use your vacuum you have to suck them off or they're just going to do a lot you have to shake them off not suck them <laughs> god damn it okay anyway we're back now um didn't mean to Anyway, yeah, um, we, we just got a call from me, Gavin, we're just gonna, hey, <laughs> looks like you've run into a bit of trouble there, maybe you need more training, I, listen, I did not run into any trouble, uh, except for the words that I said, egad, I guess you heard that because I left my microphone on or something. There's some ghost who will try to grab and hold you, when that happens, try moving your control stick back and forth to shake them off, like I just said to do, not the other thing that I said. It's the age-old struggle for survival, my boy. Don't lose heart, Luigi. Yes, so those are the grabber ghosts. And we get a key! Up there on that ledge. Very good, very good. And that's another room to head to. Not anything else really going on in here. Heading back into the hallway. on over to the next open door which oh these are uh, bowling ghosts because well they bowl like bombs at you basically very easy to avoid also zero health it's just a, a matter of stunning them and then sucking them and that's it very easy and now we are in the ballroom with the introduction of shy guy ghosts these guys are they can be difficult they're pretty easy though uh basically it's a matter of you have to suck off their masks and then they... Oh, come on. Uh, 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 okay. Alright, these guys are back now. They have 20 health. God. And uh, after that, they're pretty easy. They will try to poke you with their, uh, their like, spears. So they, they can do a bit of damage with that. And they do have a bit of range because it's kind of a longer longer weapon. Most ghosts don't even have weapons, so these guys should feel pretty lucky. Okay. Get this guy. 
This is, looks like there's just two more over there, I think. Got two for the price of one. Very nice. Ooh, there we go. Now we're on to phase two of this room. The boss fight with the dancing couple. Now the key to this fight is you have to be standing on these rotating platforms for these guys to actually show their heart right there. That is something that I did not know for a very long time and I would, you know, I'd stand here and wait for them to, uh, the, the cue to suck, to actually stun them is, you know, they'll bow or do something like that. They'll bow to each other and then they won't, uh, they won't show their heart though because you aren't standing on those rotating platforms. It's very important that you do that or else this fight will take a very long time and you will get very impatient with it. I may or may not know from experience. But that was it. It's a pretty easy fight. The only difficulty you might have is the poison mushroom and the rotating platforms. They can be a little tricky to suck the ghosts up. But besides that, it's fairly simple. And they did share a heart, which is uh, very appropriate as they are a couple. Good for them. They were truly in love. But now we are in the storage room here. And there are a few interesting things about this room. The first interesting thing that we should, uh, well, it's not this purple puncher. It's gonna get rid of him real quick. He's not interesting, or he's definitely not important. Now, we're gonna check this box. Um, okay, hold on, we gotta get this grabber ghost. This one actually has 20 health, the red ones have 20. We're gonna just try shaking some of these. Oh, wait, you know what, never mind. Um, I know what we need to do. So we're gonna, there's this chair right here. Very important uh, that you you have your flashlight pointing up at the chair. Uh, guys, get out of here. God damn it. Go away. 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 I'm trying to do something. God damn it. Okay, you're going to go away. I can deal with the pink, uh, the purple puncher. I can't deal with you. Okay. Check this chair. It's going to be a... Speedy Spirit in here. There he is. God damn it! <sighs> okay. So, I didn't mention this before, but with Speedy Spirits, you have one chance, technically two, but you have one chance to capture them. If you stun them with the flashlight and they disappear, they're gone forever. If you go into a room where a Speedy Spirit might be, and you do not even uh you know you don't check that item and they don't spawn there is another chance later in the game where you will be able to capture them uh we will go into that later but because i did stun that one and didn't get him because that pink puncher was in the way or purple punch whatever the hell it is i lose out on that money unless i want to go and reset which i'm not going to do so um yeah now the interesting the second interesting thing about this room uh, is, well, there doesn't seem to be a lot going on in here. We didn't get a chest. Uh, we could check the map here. Don't think we have anywhere else to go as of right now. No, no. Nope. Okay. You may be wondering, what do we have to do? And this is where a lot of people did actually get stumped in this game, and they do just said, I'm just going to put it down. It's not really worth it. So, notice anything interesting about this mirror notice anything on this wall the wall we can't see the fourth wall of you know the dollhouse effect that the game has well if we go in the first person mode you see that obviously this wall is here and there is a don't push button right here what in the world is this right you are luigi let's just go up to the invisible wall press a turns out this mansion has more secrets than we thought Look at that, a hidden, well, half of the room. Why they decided to do that, I don't know. Danger. Danger, danger, danger. Stranger danger. We got another button. Another button. We got this, like, uh, sewer grate on the floor we can look at. See what Luigi has to say about that. Nothing. Uh, does he have something to say about the button? Another what in the world is this? Yep, okay. Well, buttons, buttons, buttons. Gotta press them, figure out what happens.
Who's there? Who dare disturbs our sleep? Oh, it's Luigi. Look, guys. Luigi's finally here. We're going to do to you what we did to your brother, only worse. What is that? Is that EGAT's Poltergeist 3000? Everybody scram! Oh, indeed, Luigi. Getting another video call from EGAT. He's Skype installed on his Game Boy. Uh, Luigi, are you okay? That was them. Those were the ones that released all of the ghosts from the paintings in my gallery. Those fiends. I wonder where King Boo and his gang have gone. So they were hiding in the mansion all along. Thanks for flushing them out, Luigi. I'm ticked you found them. I'm tickled you found them. But perhaps it wouldn't be better if you hadn't. I'll let every single one escape. Just a thought. Oh, well, water under the bridge. Anyway, you should probably come back to the lab for a sec. Um, okay. I guess we will go do that. I've been waiting for you, young Luigi. Your brother must have been taken by that gang of booze, poor feller. Oh, now, don't talk crazy. They're not gonna eat the man. I mean, they are dead, so they can't really do that. They can't successfully do that. But what became of him? Hmm. Odd that he hasn't come back. Common theory holds that booze grow in strength when they travel numbers. They must somehow combine their powers, too. Their power likely overwhelmed your brother. If your aim is to save Mario, there's but one way to do it. Capture each boo, 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 and slowly weaken the group's power. But boos, as their name implies, like to hide and then jump out to scare people. You've got your work cut out finding them. <laughs> Don't get all down in the mouth, my boy. That Game Boy Horror I gave you as a secret function. I knew it would come in hand one day, so I developed it secretly. I call it the Boo Radar. The Boo Radar will flash red when something round like a boo is hidden nearby. Use it to search everywhere, Luigi. Oh yeah! All right, now, Sonny, don't you go tucking yourself out. Relax, and just try to get those boos one at a time. The trick is using the control stick and the C stick together. Don't forget now. Where will you go, Luigi? Well, there's only really one answer, as my phone buzzes back to the mansion. And by my phone, of course, I'm talking about my Game Boy Horror. Because, yeah, anyway. Anyway... <laughs> Back to the mansion. Don't need to watch that cutscene again. And now that we're back here, we're just gonna do a quick save. I think the game saved anyway, but um, a big blue flying around here. Be extra careful. I will try. But now that we're back here in the uh, foyer, I think it's good if we go back and check for some of the booze that we may or may not find in some of these rooms. And as we can see, the little light on the top of the Game Boy Horror there is blinking yellow, indicating that there is a boo in this room. There should be a boo in pretty much every room of the house, so it's important to go back, backtrack, and check for boos. There may contain a boo, there may contain a bomb, or a boo ball, as we just saw that that was, that was a bomb. That right there is a boo. I am bamboo, if you please. Pretty easy, these first boos. They're only going to have 30 to 40, maybe 50 health if you're, like... You know, dealing with a big one. Mercy, you've already caught your first boo. I've been researching those guys. Well, these boos don't seem to like light much, that's for sure. They do their best to hide in and are under furniture when they're stuck in a lit room. So then I reckon that means that turning on all the lights in the mansion is the fastest way to find all the boos. Wouldn't you say, youngster? Okay, now send me the boo and all the data with it. And we get to save every time, which is very uh, convenient, very nice, very good. There should be a heart. Oh, okay. There's money. I, I will take that, too. I think I got, them. got all the money in this room. The money does not respawn, um, just so you can't really, you know, get infinite money. I guess I just missed that one. I, I could have sworn that I checked that, but, you know, whatever. Now, this room does not have a lot of things in it, so it should... Oh, really? You hit me in the cutscene? Come on. Okay, maybe some of the money does respawn, because I could have sworn that I got that. But the thing about boos is that they do not have any resistance when you're fighting them. So you have to kind of follow them in like the sidestep controls that you get when you're actually, uh, when you're using the vacuum. Which makes it very difficult to suck them up. You can't just like keep, you know, pulling back and taking health away. They control where they go. You have almost no control on where they go. Which is a pain in the ass, especially when the boos start getting more and more health. As we saw, that one already had 50. When they start getting 100, 200, 300 health, then we're running into some problems. They are pretty much the exception to the 100, uh, the 100 health limit of ghosts in this game. 
What do we got? We got Boo. We got another Boo. This one's only 30. Want to play Game Boo Advance? Yes, that is the one good thing about Boos in this game. They have very wonderful Nintendo puns in them. It's just delightful. Aren't you just loving my brilliant inventions? Okay, now send me the Boo and all the data you've got. You get to see that wonderful picture of Luigi. Anyway, um... Got anything else going on here? Any extra money or something like that? No, no, no. Well, we can use our handy dandy little shortcut here and warp back onto the uh, Starship Enterprise. Or beam, as they would actually say in that in that universe, whatever. Just looks ordinary. Oh, too ordinary. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, now that we're back here, I think it's a good place to stop before we do a little bit more boo hunting and then press forward into the darkness. So next time on Luigi's Mansion, we're going to do just that. We're going to finish up the boos in the areas that we've already explored, and then we will continue on into the unexplored territories of the mansion. See you guys then.